Hey y'all, it's the Country Notary. Hope you're having a great day. As always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button. Today, I just finished the process of completing an apostille. This was a very lengthy process, I must add, which started back in mid-March. Now we're at the end of June, and I wanted to give you guys a little recap on how this apostille process uh, progressed lady contacted me I think she googled me or she may have been referred to me by another notary that I helped train recently um, she finished her training and we've been referring clients to each other based on our schedules this particular lady needed an apostille and Jasmine the notary that I train and work with uh, was relatively new and she wasn't um, comfortable or knowledgeable about the apostille process now mind you neither was I but did some research. I had actually researched apostilles last year and did quite a bit of research. And I've had one call in the past 16, 18 months for an apostille. That person, for some reason, did not uh, pursue it. Did uh, and then actually had a call recently. A fellow wanted to get some documents notarized that were going overseas, and I tried to explain to him that I I was pretty sure he needed an apostille, but he was very adamant that he did not. So we didn't connect because I wasn't comfortable with notarizing birth certificates or whatever it was he had so this client contacted me back in mid-march we met she's uh married here in the states and was attempting to get a divorce from a prior marriage overseas she she's basically on her second or third husband just given the information as it was given to me no shade and the divorce was val is valid here in the States. However, the apostille is needed to make the divorce valid in Brazil. So she, would have, she was my first apostille customer. I had done some research. I actually contacted the state and had a couple of questions and made myself aware of the uh, paper trail involved. Met her at her job. She explained to me the situation, her ex-husband, who lives here in the states with her previously again they had gotten married in brazil go attempting to get a divorce and he needed to sign a letter of consent a letter of consent sorry and have it notarized on that particular day she gave me the letter of consent it had already been previously notarized so at that point my job was to get the documents to the state get them uh, postilled and get them back to the client so the process unfolded as follows. The first step in the process, uh, I went to the Secretary of State's website and printed the apostille payment form. It's a very simple form that asks for your name, phone number, contact information, and form of payment. And my form of payment was a uh, credit card. I used my my business checking my business checking debit card so that I could track when the state actually uh, when the state actually ran the uh, transaction it would show up on my my bank statement so that was one way I knew when the apostille had actually been approved my biggest concern up to that point was that I was sending her documents in and something wasn't uh, correct with the documents and they would reject it that was my biggest fear initially for a reason. So I use my business checking debit card, fill out the document, enclose the letter of consent form along with the along with a pre-addressed stamped envelope for the return of the documents. And in both directions to the Secretary of State and back home, I used a priority mail, uh, priority mail postage. So the pre-stamped, pre-addressed stamped envelope included priority mail postage back to me which is the directions that the state uh, has on their website sent it off and it took a while after about four weeks I called the state's the number as for the, the department that handles apostilles and the lady explained to me that they were running behind and the average time for the apostille process was five weeks so we were at about week four at that point I gave the client an update she said okay she understood and about two weeks later uh, the postage came back, the priority letter, uh, two day, actually the two day priority mail letter was uh, attached to my mailbox. 
It was from the Secretary of State. My handwriting was on the on the uh, address label because I I was the one who mailed it, of course, pre-addressed it. I was somewhat excited, and when I opened it, much to my dismay, the apostille had been rejected. It had been rejected, uh, which is something I should have caught initially. Which so I have to take full credit for this, full accountability for the rejection. The original letter of consent that her husband signed that was notarized was notarized incorrectly. The notary that he used to notarize it, basically, he signed the letter of consent. She she stamped the document. She did not include. She did not include a. She did not include a certificate of acknowledgement, an acknowledgement form. So it was rejected, and that was again my mistake. I think because of my nervousness initially, and assuming that the process had already been handled uh, correctly prior to me meeting with the client, I was just focused on getting the documents to the state and and following the apostille process. However, because the notary uh, incorrectly notarized it, the state rejected it with a nice letter indicating how it should have been notarized. And they, they also included a loose leaf certificate, which I thought was pretty funny. So only we would think that was funny. I took that, I called the client back and, 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 and informed her what happened. She was somewhat you know, disappointed because we're at six week mark at this point. However, she understood. So we're back at square one. She emailed me a copy of the letter of consent form, a blank copy, gave me her ex-husband's contact information because he had to resign. I contacted him, explained to him the issue, met him at his job on our lunch breaks. He signed it. Um, actually, I think it may have been off that day. He signed it. I attached the loose leaf acknowledgement certificate, notarized the signature, went back to the post office, paid for the postage for two-day mail so that it could arrive at the state in the, you know, timeliest as well as cost-effective manner because overnight one day would have been, you know, $37 and it w wouldn't have really made a huge difference in the timeline. Uh, two-day mail each way is, I think, $12.71. Paid for the postage, included a self-addressed two-day mail return postage envelope and mailed it off with the, with the uh, state's uh, form letter and payment information form and cross my fingers and again the process was rather lengthy check my I checked my uh, bank account statement on a regular basis and there were no charges from the state no charges charges from the state after about four or five weeks I pretty much just assumed it was going to take the same length of time as it did initially and one day surprisingly as I get home I see the two-day priority mail postage envelope attached to my mailbox and it was from the secretary of state my handwriting of course on the address label i rip it open open it carefully and there's a letter from the state looked exactly like the letter from the the first from the rejection opened it up and this time it was a little differently it looks like it had been folded not folded but there was something inserted inside of the two pages the two pages were stapled the letter of consent, the acknowledgement form, and there was something inserted between the two pages along with a receipt. So I looked at the receipt and it had a receipt of payment, $15 paid. So I was very excited, opened the package and surely enough, the apostille had been completed. I was so excited, so happy. That was a big day, a joyous day. This was in the middle of many other business uh, transactions I had going on, uh, the, the yellow house that I've been showing to different buyers learning the wholesaling business, other notary jobs that I've been working, you know, throughout the last couple of weeks. So this was actually a, a, a great, a good Friday, a slam dunk. Contacted the client. I actually, what I did, I took a picture of the apostille uh, letter and I texted it to the client. I also texted my daughter and I texted Jasmine, my notary, uh, other notary that I partner with here that I trained and everyone was excited. Good uh, thumbs ups, happy, happy faces, smiley faces. Um, text it back to me. So uh, today, that was I think about a week ago, uh, and maybe a week ago on a, on a Thursday or Friday, and me and the client had been playing phone tag as well as trying to schedule a time for us to meet again so that I could bring her the apostille and we could talk about next steps. And we finally were able to meet today. I just left her, her job, brought her the document. She was very excited. 
Um, she owed me a balance on the apostille. So basically I charged for my services because I didn't actually have an accurate idea of how much to charge initially. But now that I've completed the process, I'll know in the future. But I basically quoted her initially a fee of $159. She gave, I'm not even sure how we got to $159. I think that had to do with the postage. Um, the the two-day mail uh, postage as well as the second two-day mail post postage amounts. Um, she paid me a $50 deposit initially and today she paid me the balance of $109. Um, so overall, basically, I met with her the first day. It took about maybe 30 minutes the first time we talked to understand what the uh, job in the assignment was. The second I drove out to her hus ex-husband's job, that took another maybe 30 minutes. It's a little further out, so driving time overall maybe took 45 minutes uh from from where i left to back to go back to work and then today we met again for another 20 minutes um two trips to the post office so i would say this total assignment took me max including driving time an hour and a half three locations two post office visits an hour and a half max 159 dollars and Based on that, I think in the future, um, I'll, I'll base my apostille fees uh, accordingly, um, which I normally charge a $65 fee per appointment. And the post office in the postage um, fees, I'll, you know, deduct, I'll, I'll reduce that $65 accordingly because going to the post office takes about maybe 15 minutes. And if I have to make additional uh, make additional appointments with additional parties. I'll add a $65 fee accordingly. And that's how I will package my iPod steel fee in the future. Okay. So as you can tell, I was a little excited. Um, happy client. And after this, after this point, she's going to meet back with her lawyer. The lawyer will explain to her what her, her next steps are, which other documents may be required whether any of those documents need notarization or a pastille. The client's gonna contact me back if she needs another um, a pastille or any documents notarized, and we will go from there. And she has my number saved in her phone for a future reference, of course, because as always, I end all of my uh, appointments and ask the client to save my number in their phone. I'm a mobile notary. I'm always driving, always on the road. I will meet you at your location to notarize your documents Save a number in your phone and uh, in case you need any notary services in the future. And that worked out quite well. I'm at Lowe's. I'm uh, actually about to return some uh, products from my home improvement project. And in the morning, uh, hit the road again, other appointments, more jobs. I think I have a couple of actually I think I have a notary job tomorrow. I need to go back and check my calendar. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Again, please subscribe to my channel. And I will give you guys an update on this apostille after the client contacts me back. I'm very interested to see how this whole thing unfolds. Uh, client, again, getting a divorce in an, getting a divorce from a, uh, in an over, a country that's overseas. I hope I said that right. I'm kind of, a uh, little, little tired today. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me along this journey. The life of a day in the life of a mobile notary never gets boring. It's the country notary. Talk to y'all soon.